Am I balding? Oh my gosh. Why am I only balding on one side? Okay, I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> Saturday me and Dylan slept in till almost 11 which was absolutely amazing I love sleeping in did you see that anyway my mom got me this new lip gloss buxom plump shot it looks like this I'm a big fan I've never felt a lip gloss that feels like this Anyway, I had a dream last night. All my dreams are pretty much very realistic. Sometimes they are so realistic. Actually, most of the time they are so realistic that I can't tell what I dreamt and like what actually happened, which is probably concerning. So last night I had a dream that we were in bed, like waking up from our sleep and that we woke up because our dog, I had a dream that we had a dog and it was waking us up with kisses and it was so small, it was like this big. Its name was Archie, I don't know why that was his name. It was so cute and we were like playing with it and I want a dog so bad, but I know it's not the time for a dog, but I just want one. So me and Dylan are gonna go to the animal shelter today. Dylan's at the gym right now. I just threw in a load of wash. It's our sheets and bedding and stuff. So I'm kind of waiting for that to be done. Scam likely. Hello? To look into your messages, press one now. The only person who calls me is scam likely. As I was saying, I'm waiting for our laundry to be done, then I'm gonna change the sheet. But I think in the meantime, I'm gonna get ready. I haven't worn makeup in, I think it's honestly going on like three weeks. And I've really been enjoying it. Like, I don't really wanna wear makeup, but I also do kinda wanna wear makeup. So I think I'm gonna wear makeup. Hello, I'm back. <laughs> I finished getting ready. I got a package. I don't know what it is. It's in this big box. Oh my gosh. There's literally a kidnapper outside. Oh wait, mobile car wash. Why is he? Why is he right outside my house? I'm home alone and he's literally stopped right outside. I don't know what to do. Wait, I'm like actually scared. Should I take a picture? I feel like I should take a picture. I'm like very scared of getting kidnapped. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna open my package now. He's literally stopped outside. At least I'm recording in case anything happens. So I'm doing a small collaboration situation with this company. Very securely packaged. Space for your own pace. Okay, well, I'm not gonna open this right now. Okay, what else do I have to share? I'm gonna get dressed. I don't know what I'm gonna wear today. Is this blurry? So I forgot that I bought these jeans. I never in a million years thought that I would buy jeans that are like this. Okay, so first of all, I thought that they only had this little Playboy bunny, but they also have this and a rip under the butt cheek. Playboy by PacSun. They were doing a deal where you buy one and you get one free. And I've been needing new pants because randomly, like, my pants just, like, stopped fitting me. So I needed to get new pants. Um, I don't know where I was going with that. Okay, I don't know if I want to wear these jeans. They don't look very good and they're extremely unflattering on me. I kind of want to return them, but I don't have the receipt. So I completely changed direction with my outfit. I'm just wearing my sweatshirt. I am proud of you. People have been sending me their photos of them wearing it and it makes me so happy. And this skirt and tights and boots. So that's that and this headband. And I even changed my earrings. So yeah, Dylan just got home. He's pooping right now. And then we're gonna go get lunch. It's 3.30. I still haven't eaten all day. All I've had is this drink and I feel like I'm always winded in my videos. It's because I'm so hungry and all I've had is caffeine and I'm like shaking and like tweaking a little. It feels good to get ready. I haven't gotten ready in literally so long. I haven't looked like decent in such a long time and it feels like good, kind of like confidence boost. I recently put in my two weeks for my job. That's like a announcement. So now I'm very hangry. <laughs> The animal shelter closes in 20 minutes, so we will not be able to go today. So I'm feeling very upset about it, but it's okay. Now we're going to get sushi. Are you excited? Yes. We're at Target now. We went to sushi. I'm in a better mood now. I was on the verge of tears for a while, but then I ate and now I feel better. So a little update, Dylan will not let me get a pillow that I want. 
Now he's spilling all the Legos all on the floor. What? I really want to get this. <clears throat> they don't have it. What? I want to get this filled with the helmet. A Lego shoe. What are you going to do with a Lego shoe? Put it on this console. It's only $40. Mm, this is only $40, Quincy. This is our cart so far. As you can see, we have Godzilla. I found it. What? The only thing that I'm getting that I really need is body wash. I got some fake plants. Dylan is on a toy shopping spree. Wait, also, I got a shelf. Movie? What? We're gonna watch a good movie tonight. He looks a little grumpy. Is there one in this one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he looks like a little person. <laughs> kind of like him. I know, I kind of love him. Am I allowed to touch him? Yeah, go for it. Oh. He's a baby. Um, I don't think I even left the mark. Ah! Did he bite you? <laughs> Dylan built my shelf. It is looking beautiful. The camera is propped up on it right now. So we went to get sushi and then we went to Target and then we went to PetSmart and we looked at hamsters at PetSmart and I was bit by one. I don't know if you can see that. You probably can't see it, but the hamster literally, I put my hand in to like, just like see if it, and at first it was just like sniffing me and then it, all of a sudden it was like <laughs> And then it latched onto my finger and literally I was like lifting my finger up to like get my finger out of the cage and it was dangling, biting on my finger. My finger was bleeding, but I didn't want to like make a big deal and make the store worker feel bad. So she was like, oh, it doesn't hurt, right? I was like, no, it's fine. And it was bleeding and I'm a hypochondriac. So my first thought is I'm going to get rabies or like a disease or something. But I think we're going to go tomorrow to look at more hamsters. I think we might get one. If we can't get a dog right now, then I want some sort of pet, but my mom says that they smell bad. I just want a little furry friend, you know? Dylan and I had a fish named Saki. Oh, dude. I'm talking about Saki right now. Oh. Right. What are you doing? I'm almost ready to build my life so you want to join me. Okay. I love you. When do you want to start a movie? I can do that. Okay, how long will that take? Well, I'm quick. I'm master builder. Okay. Anyway, as I was saying, Della and I had a fish named Saki. He was a betta fish. He was our first pet as a couple. We got him a little tank. He had the cutest little house. If you guys remember, we would post a lot about Saki on our Instagram stories and stuff. So then we moved to this new house. Saki was not doing well. And then we got more fish, got a bigger tank. And then I'm pretty sure that the other fish gave Saki anxiety. Saki was like, he was actually really smart. Like Dylan would start playing the guitar and singing and Saki would come right up to the glass. Like he'd exit his little cave or whatever and come watch and he'd follow our fingers. And he was like a very active pet. He wasn't just like a stupid fish, you know? Not the fish are stupid, but you know what I mean? Like he actually interacted with us. And then I just kind of felt like we betrayed him when we got more fish. So now I'm finally feeling ready to get a pet also don't mind the giant mess in the back dylan has not done laundry in a very long time yeah so there's a big mess Sorry. tonight i'm just gonna wash my face get ready for bed watch a movie dylan's gonna build legos and he wants me to watch him build the legos so so i think i'm gonna shut it down for the night and then i will pick it back up in the morning yeah it's 9 45 so it's still well to me that's kind of late in the night but i guess it's relatively still early in the night so good night I'll see you in the morning. Happy Sunday. Today is Sunday. I am wearing the same sweatshirt as yesterday. No, I did not sleep in it, but I am wearing it again. So I just finished my therapy session. It went well. Nothing super exciting to report about that. I guess I could say I started going to therapy in the spring of 2021. Long story short, I was in a really bad relationship relationship for almost four years i think it was like three and a half years from the time i was 17 to almost 21 right before i was 21 so then after that i was single for a year and then dylan and i started dating and during the time that i was single i was doing pretty well mentally and then dylan and i started dating 
doing well. And then very soon after Dylan and I started dating, a lot happened. I had never been, first of all, so publicly looked at. I had also never been so publicly hated. A lot of sh stuff happened with friends his friends my friends a lot was happening we went to new york did the snapchat thing that brought on a whole other side of issues and basically my mental health went totally down like downward spiral down without getting into it i just was like not in a good place mentally and it was affecting me as a person obviously it was affecting me and dylan's relationship it was affecting my relationships with everyone my anxiety got so bad i really didn't want to even leave the house and i just didn't really know how to handle it i didn't know how to handle certain things that i had never been presented with before and along with all these new things that were happening i feel like i had had never really dealt with my past experiences so then it was kind of like all these negative feelings and emotions were like resurfacing anyway i was finally like so sick of being sad and i was so sick of being down and depressed and anxious all the time and don't get me wrong i do still have my good days and bad days but i decided to go to therapy i just want to be the best version of myself that i can be and i felt like i wasn't that I still don't feel like I am that, but I'm actively working towards being that. So that's my story on that. Super fun. Now I'm gonna go home. I don't know. Eat, probably. I'm like in my sweats, in my slippers. I'm kind of in the mood for a lazy Sunday. Okay, well, bye. I'll see you when I get home. So I got home from my appointment and immediately Dylan asked to have a talk with me. And he said that we shouldn't get a hamster because... Uh, we should get a fish. What? Why do you always have to do this to me? We should get a dog. Dylan said we can get a dog. Why aren't you acting more excited? I'm very focused on my Legos. He's building his Legos right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna get a dog, so I'll be dedicating the rest of my day to looking for a dog online. I'm glad we didn't get that hamster. That was, um, yeah. Well, the, so one hamster bit me and then another one that was nicer. We told the lady that we wanted it, but then we went back to look at it and it was chewing on the, chewing on the metal cage and it was like dangling from its teeth, like its teeth were clawed into the metal. Very nice. I think that's all I have to say about anything for now. For the rest of the day, I don't think I'll be doing anything extremely exciting, so I don't really feel the need to video anymore. I hope everyone had a good weekend and has a great week ahead of them. Hello, I'm back. First of all, yes, I'm wearing the same sweatshirt that I've worn for the past three days. Second of all, I'm really tired. Happy Monday. I just wanted to conclude this vlog because I feel like I didn't have enough in it. Or maybe I had too much. I don't know. Yesterday was a very emotional day. I spent the whole day looking at dogs. And honestly, I spent a lot of today looking at dogs. And it's made me so emotional because they're all so small and cute and i just like want them all to be my dogs and i even texted one of the ladies or whatever and asked to make an appointment to come see the dogs so me and dylan are super excited also i saw a dog after school today after work and it was so cute and now i want to try to find a dog that looks like that yeah but i have one more thing to say that was kind of just on my mind is when i was talking about my therapy stuff i just want to make it clear like you don't have to have anything wrong to go to therapy i honestly feel like everyone should kind of go to therapy at one point in their lives if like they're if you're able to just because i feel like it's just good to have like an objective point of view i don't know i just feel like there's a lot of stuff just even a lot of my stuff that I talk about is very minor and like day to day, but I don't necessarily want Dylan to know every single thing that's going on in my mind because it's honestly not fair to him to be like responsible for all of my many feelings. Same with my friends, same with my parents, like some things are just like not meant for other people to have to deal with, I feel like. And so that's also what I love about going to therapy. I'm a big advocate for therapy. So yeah, I just wanted to say that day to 
day I'm like a pretty happy person. It's just everyone has stuff that's kind of in the back of their closet or whatever that saying is on the shelf. I don't know. I hope everyone had a happy Monday. I had a good day at work today. It was a pretty funny and like it was just a good day, which is good. Everyone loves a good day, especially Monday. I'm planning on going to bed early tonight. Last night I went to bed late and it did not do me any well. Did not do me any good. I will keep you all updated with the dog search. I just want to show also my little corner because I'm obsessed with it. I have my computer. I have my little plant and my rock thingy. And then I have my bookshelf that Dylan, oh, and there's my prayer bear and my disco ball. I'm pretty excited. I love my little corner. It feels very homey and personal to me, you know? Well, I hope everyone has a great week. I hope everyone had a nice Monday. And if you didn't, there's always tomorrow. Leave a comment leave a like subscribe if you want only if you want i keep doing this and it's become kind of like unironic and i need to stop doing that because it's probably really annoying and cringy see you next time